Hello everyone, <clears throat> I'm going to uh, use this video to explain a little bit more about how you can remember the difference in the melanin, the pheomelanin and eomelanin. And what I'm going to use for this is minstrels and skittles. So what I've done is I've taken some out, okay, and with the skittles I've taken out the red and the yellow, okay. Now, okay, so your minstrels represent the ear melanin, okay? So when you think about them and you think about the lightning curve and, and when we're lifting colour, so if you were to put a minstrel in your mouth, okay, it would be easy to eat, okay? So in regards to lifting the hair, it's actually easier to lift the darker pigments. Then what happens is, and what you're left over with, what transfers into is the pheomelanin, Okay, so if you were to put, and the pheomelanin is the yellow and the red pigments, okay, if you put that into your mouth, it's more, it takes a little more, takes a while to eat them, okay, so therefore, that's why if you think about the lightning curve, and when you're lifting colour, it lifts quite quickly to start off with, and then you're left with your stubborner colours, okay. And that is a really good way how you can think about how eomelanin and theomelanin works in regards to melanin and lifting the colour. Thanks.